September 27, 1827, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Hiram Rhodes Revel was born unto Elijah Revel, but even though he was black and was born in the South, he was born a free man. As he grew up, he was taught by a local black lady for his education. And in 1838, at the age of 11, he went to go live with his older brother, Elias B. Rebels, in Lincoln, North Carolina. There, he was apprenticed as a barber at his brother's barber shop. But in the year 1841, Elias Revel died, and Hiram became the owner of a shop. Now, eventually, he decided to hire his education. So he decided he would go and attend Union County Quaker Seminary in Indiana, and eventually Drake County Seminary in Ohio. And in 1845, Hiram was ordained as a minister in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. There he served as a preacher and religious teacher throughout the Midwest. At times, I was met with a great deal of oppression. I was imprisoned in Missouri in 1854 for preaching the gospel to the Negroes, though I was never subjected to violence myself. In 1855, he decided to study religion again at Knox's College in Gatlinburg, Illinois. Then he became another minister at another Methodist Episcopal Church in Baltimore, Maryland, where he also served as a principal at a black high school. Hiram also served as a U.S. chaplain in the United States Army. On February 25th, 1870, Rovos became the first African-American to be seated in the United States Senate. As a Senate, he pushed hard for the equality of black people. And on March 16, 1870, he argued for the reinstatement of black legislators of the Georgia General Assembly, who had been ousted by the Democratic Party. I maintain that the past record of my race is a true index of the feelings which today animate them. They aim not to elevate themselves by sacrificing one single interest of their white fellow citizens. His term only lasted one year from February 1870 to March 3rd, 1871. And though he persistently pushed for the equality of black people, most of his efforts were deemed unsuccessful. After Revel's term ended, he was accepted to become the president of Alcorn Agricultural and Mechanical College in Caliborn County, Mississippi. There, he also served as an instructor in philosophy. He was eventually dismissed in 1874 because he campaigned against the re-election of the governor of Mississippi, Albert Ames. But he was still reappointed in 1876 and he served there until his retirement in 1882. Since Reconstruction, the masses of my people have been, as it were, enslaved in the mind of unprincipled adventurers who, caring nothing for country, were willing to stoop to anything, no matter how infamous, to secure power to themselves and to preoccupate it. My people have been told by these schemers when men have been placed on the ticket who are notoriously corrupt and dishonest that they must vote for them, that the salvation of the party depends on it, that the man who scratched the ticket was not a Republican. This is only one of the many means these unprincipled demagogues have devised to preoccupate the intelligent bondage of my people. The bitterness and hate created by the late civil strife has, in my opinion, been obliterated in the state, yet perhaps in some localities, and would have long since been entirely obliterated. 
were it not for some unprincipled men who would keep alive the bitterness of the past and inoculate the hatred between the races in order that they may aggrandize themselves by office. It is a monument to control my people, the effects of which is to degrade them. Hiram Revels died January 16, 1901 in Aberdeen, Mississippi.